Running Sampler, Running Stitch and Basting Stitch. The running stitch is the most basic and simple sewing stitch. It is used primarily to hold two pieces of fabric together, but it can also be an easy and attractive embroidery stitch. Start by threading your needle. You may use a single thread as I'm doing here, or you may double your thread if you need extra strength. Tie a knot in the end of your thread. You may draw a line on your fabric to help you sew straight. In this case, I'm using this great new pen, a friction pen, which magically erases when you apply heat. Always test the ink on the fabric, just in case. And ideally, do it on the inside. This stitch is a simple in and out of the needle, making a straight line of dashes across your fabric. Notice I'm keeping my needle on top of the fabric and doing essentially two stitches at once. This saves a lot of time. Be careful not to pull your thread too much as it will gather the fabric. Try to keep your stitches around a quarter of an inch each. Work on being consistent. When you get to the end, tie a knot by catching a very small amount of the fabric Slowly pull the thread until you have a small loop. Put your needle through the loop once or twice and pull it taut. I usually tie two or three knots on top of each other to make sure it's secure. On your sampler, Write down the names of your stitches so that you can refer to it later. Here is the finished running stitch. The basting stitch is a long running stitch. It is used to temporarily hold your fabric together in situations where pins aren't enough, such as sewing velvet to satin, which slides all over the place. The basting stitch is not knotted on the ends so that it can be easily pulled out when you're done. These stitches can be three quarters of an inch long. And that is your running stitch and your basting stitch. Thanks for watching Sewing Sampler and please subscribe.